Uh, firstly, thank you for joining us for this Siemens Solid Edge webinar that focuses on designing plastic parts. This is part of a series of webinars that discusses how your company can undergo a digital transformation, speeding your product development and manufacturing process, and helping to ensure the products you deliver to your customers are world class. I'm sure you're all aware of Siemens, one of the largest manufacturing companies globally. For more than 165 years, Siemens and its customers have been pushing the boundaries of manufacturing technology. Today, Siemens is recognized as an industry leader in digital transformation for design and manufacturing organizations of all sizes. But let's first take a moment to talk about the evolution of manufacturing. Most of us are familiar with the previous industrial revolutions that have brought us to the 21st century. The first was mechanization, using water and steam power, in the 18th century. The second was the introduction of mass production using assembly lines, for example, Ford's Model T in the early 20th century. And the third, the advent of computer-controlled machines and robots in the 1980s. At Siemens, we believe we are now witnessing the beginning of a fourth industrial revolution. Technical advances that enable a digital transformation adding intelligence to digital models throughout the product lifecycle, connecting these products to each other and their manufacturing processes and to their whole value chains and business models, enabling manufacturing organizations of all sizes to take advantage of the industrial internet and become digital enterprises. This digital technology is leveling the playing field for businesses of all sizes, including small and medium-sized businesses enabling them to disrupt their industries. It's creating opportunities to develop products and services that were, that were once inconceivable. Size, which was once a competitive advantage, can now be a liability as businesses that once dominated their markets can struggle to keep up with young, nimble startups. D digital transformation helps companies make their processes leaner, faster, and more flexible, enabling them to rapidly evolve to react to ever-changing market requirements and conditions. Siemens focuses on several areas where we bring our expertise in the fusion of the virtual and real worlds across the entire value chain for our customers. Some of the key enabling technologies applied by Siemens to enable digital transformation include mobile, smart data and analytics, cloud, connectivity, and cybersecurity. The resulting solutions encompass design and engineering, automation and production, and maintenance and services, and together they enable effective, sustainable solutions for all industrial enterprises that wish to embrace and shape a digital transformation. The Solid Edge portfolio is focused on driving this digital transformation for small and medium-sized manufacturing companies. We see that these manufacturers want complete, fully featured, professional engineering tools, but they also need tools that are easy to access and easy to learn. As you'll see in this webinar series, the Solid Edge portfolio is much more than Solid Edge 3D CAD software. It is a complete portfolio of solutions for design, simulation, manufacturing, technical publications, and data management. Together, these solutions speed the complete product development process and help ensure the delivery of world-class products to your customers. With the Solid Edge portfolio, you can create detailed 3D digital models, also known as a digital twin of your proposed products, and use this as the basis for all areas of product development, including concept and detailed design, prototyping, simulation, manufacturing, installation and service. This digital twin also helps SMB manufacturers address major challenges like increased complexity and increasing regulation. My name is Rick and I'm your host for this webinar. I'm also joined by Doug Singbrook who is our presenter for today's topic of designing plastic parts. At this point I'd like to hand over to Doug to discuss plastic part design. Thanks, Dave, and thanks to all of you for joining our webinar on plastic part design. Designers of plastic parts and consumer products understand the challenges of both form and function of consumer product design. 
Solid Edge helps designers meet those challenges by offering unique and powerful tools specific to plastic part design. The plastic part features offered in Solid Edge enable the designer to focus on the overall design and its function rather than spend a lot of time tediously modeling specific geometry commonly found in most plastic parts and consumer products. One powerful workflow supported by Solid Edge is the ability to assemble internal components and then design a plastic housing around them. In the jigsaw, we have done just that. In the top of the handle, we have a few ribs that will ultimately support the trigger switch. By subtracting the switch from the housing at the assembly level, we can ensure the switch will fit into the ribbed area and will be held in place when assembled. Solid Edge includes inspection tools to ensure the final design is a moldable part. Here we'll inspect the faces of the part for draft. Once we specify a parting plane in a pull direction, we can see the colors that indicate the drafted and straight faces. We can control the colors from the options. Drafted faces are a must for all injection molded plastic parts. This draft feature allows us to specify a draft plane and then select multiple faces to be drafted at the same time. By specifying the direction to create the draft, we can specify the pull direction and ensure it will come out of the mold. Another feature that is found in a large majority of plastic parts is what is known as a web network. These networks of rib or web features are often used to strengthen plastic parts as well as provide support for internal components. In this area, we need to hold the motor in the middle of the housing for this jigsaw. By creating a uniform series of lines in a grid pattern, we can quickly define the center lines for a web network. We may want to precisely locate the network of ribs from a particular edge of the part. In this case, we want to locate the center of the right hand rib 6 millimeters from the edge of the slot. To create the grid, we'll equally offset the vertical line four times to create five vertical ribs in the web network. The Trim Corner tool in Solid Edge makes it easy to trim the vertical and horizontal lines together by simply dragging across the two. Finally, we'll offset the horizontal line a couple of times to complete our web. The mirror command allows us to quickly replicate the geometry to the other side of the center line of the housing body. All we need to do once we have the sketch defined is specify a rib thickness and tell Solid Edge which way to extend the web network. Adding draft to the entire web network feature is simply an option within the web network command and does not require a secondary feature to accomplish this. Once again we can specify the draft direction. By building this housing in the context of the internal components, we can ensure everything fits in the design. By physically copying specific geometry from the motor part into the housing, we can create a pocket in the web network for the motor to be supported. Surfacing is another large part of plastic product design. By using features like BlueSurf, we can quickly fill in the missing geometry that we need. We want to make clearance in the web network for the end of the motor, so we'll extend the front cylinder through the last ribs. Using the bounded surface feature, we can easily cap each end of the cylindrical faces.
As we stitch the surfaces together, we can form a construction body of the motor. We may even want to offset that body slightly to give us just a little bit of clearance for the tolerance differences in the motor size. Once again, by subtracting the slightly oversized construction body from the housing, we can instantly create a nest in the web network to hold the motor. The replace face command enables us to quickly and easily simplify the complexity of the model by eliminating unnecessary angled faces in the web network that were simply a result of the subtraction and serve no functional purpose. This will save us unnecessary costly machining of the mold cavity. Another common feature found in many plastic parts is a mounting boss. A mounting boss may be used to mount internal components like circuit boards or it may be used as an interlocking feature to assemble two halves of a plastic housing together such as in this case. A mounting boss is a cylindrical pillar and may include a hole feature and any number of supporting ribs spaced evenly about its circumference. This feature would take several conventional modeling features and many steps to generate if it were not for the solid edge mounting boss command specifically written to generate this common plastic part design geometry in a single feature. Next, we want to create a pattern of mounting boss features. The mounting boss features in this half of the jigsaw housing must perfectly align with the mounting boss features on the opposite half of the housing. The exact locations for this pattern of features have been recorded in a spreadsheet of the exact X and Y distances from the parent feature. Remember, the original mounting boss feature we placed was located by a sketch. The sketch represented the parent feature location in both halves of the, both halves of the housing. Plastic parts that are made up of two adjoining halves, like this jigsaw housing, often contain interlocking lip and groove features at the parting line. This, is, this ensures the alignment of the two halves as well as creates a moisture resistant seal between them. Here we'll add a lip feature to the inside edge along the top of the housing. Notice that as we simply move our cursor around, we can change the location of the profile and therefore specify creating a lip above the edge. As we pan to the center of the handle area, we'll generate the same dimensional profile, yet by simply adjusting lo the location of the profile into the part, we can quickly generate a complementary groove below the edge. The final plastic part specific feature we will create is a vent. Many consumer products contain electrical components inside that require airflow to keep them from overheating. This is why you typically find vents on these plastic housings. If you look closely, these vents are typically made up of crisscrossing ribs and spars which may be of different depths and extents into the part. 
This is a very complex feature that would certainly require many, many conventional protrusions and cutout features to create without another solid edge specific command for generating them. All we need to do to design this complex feature in Solid Edge is to have a simple sketch to define the boundary and the ribs and or spars. The parameters can be specified in the dialog or saved and reused later. As we return to the top level assembly, we can see how all the internal mechanisms of the jigsaw fit nicely into our ergonomic and functional plastic housing. The internal components are held in place by internal features of the plastic housing that we created quickly and easily using process specific features like web network. By turning on the display of the other half of the housing, we can see how the lip features interlock between the two halves. We can also see how the mounting bosses perfectly align with one another due to the pattern based on the table and how they also interlock from side to side. As you can clearly see, the plastic part specific features built into Solid Edge greatly reduce the effort in creating common geometry found throughout plastic part designs. This of course results in less time in designing plastic parts and quicker time to market, which of course results in higher profits. That's all from me. Back to you, Dave. Okay, thanks, Doug. I think you can see there um, a lot of specialized commands in Solid Edge to help you very rapidly create the features that you typically need in plastic parts. Uh, one thing I'd recommend that you do to find out more about how some of our other customers are using uh, Solid Edge to design plastic parts is look at our customer case studies. If you go to our landing page, so the fastest way to get there is just Siemens.com slash Solid Edge and look on there. In the bottom right, there's an area of case studies. Then within those case studies, we have uh, several hundred case studies there, but you can search on a particular functional area or industry that you want to search on. Uh, this particular example is a company called uh, Whale. They design a lot of uh, pumps and other plastic parts. And uh, you can see here the complexity of some of the parts that they designed using Solid Edge. A particular quote here is about a complete, completely new product that they designed. And using Solid Edge, uh, they were able to cut the complete design process from 12 to 14 months down to around four months. So they're making extensive use of the tools in Solid Edge to design complex plastic moldings. In that case, we also have some particular capabilities for routing uh, pipes, which they take full advantage of. Uh, they also use the built-in Solid Edge simulation capabilities to run stress analysis on their part, parts as well. And you can see here some of the overall benefits that uh, Whale has been achieving. For example, overall product development time around 20% uh, faster. It's also enabled them to uh, broaden uh, the scope of what they do. Uh, they also now act as a design and prototyping house for other companies as well. So they've really been able to grow their business uh, uh, partly by using Solid Edge as their CAD software. So just a few final words from me. If you'd like to find out more about Solid Edge, you can call this number to speak to us directly. Or you can go to the link shown here to download a trial version of Solid Edge that you can use for free for a period of 45 days. And just a note to say that um, this is uh, part of a series of webinars that we're presenting over the last few months. We're actually getting towards the end of the webinar series here. So uh, if you registered for, for this webinar, you can go back to the web page where we list all these webinars and you can get replays of the ones that we've already done uh, and also register for the next one in the series as well. 
So at this point, uh, thank you very much for joining our web presentation. Please enjoy the rest of your day.